today we are with Giorgio Scagliotti from the University of Torino for an interview on the Lung Ambition Alliance. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for inviting me. Thanks. So could you tell us about the moment that you personally started to believe that the Lung Ambition Alliance could make eliminating death from lung cancer a reality? Well, the Lung Cancer Ambition Project is a pretty ambitious project. And uh, the moment that I started thinking about uh, the huge, uh, the potential huge impact that the project may have on our patients, uh, it's, it's, it's in principle stemming from the, the idea that uh, it's almost impossible to cure a patient with stage 4 non-smoke lung cancer, or at least you are not able to impact significantly what we call the five-year survival rate of our patients. Obviously, the new therapies are able to prolong definitively the individual survival expectation. This is true for targeted therapies, also for patients who are treated with immunotherapy in stage four. But the long-term impact on survival is something that is limited by the acquired resistance phenomenon. And if you are able to make your, the diagnosis of lung cancer earlier, it's quite likely that also the biology of the disease will be different from the biology of stage four. And consequently, all these thoughts were leading me to the idea that probably this initiative is really a groundbreaking initiative. So, in your opinion, what do you believe the Lung Ambition Alliance can accomplish? Well, the Lung Cancer Ambition Alliance, uh, uh, it's uh, something that it's, it's only feasible it, and hopefully will lead to some significant changes or some significant practice changes in the long term because it's not possible to be done on, uh, on a single uh, company or single institution or single scientific organization alone. It's only if uh, you are bringing together different level of expertise that you will be able probably to generate something that is leading you to the next step and the next step is to impact significantly the five-year survival rate of our patients. So could you tell us how the Lung Ambition Alliance is different from other initiatives to address cancer? Specifically in the field of, uh, of lung cancer, I do not remember any other initiative at the same level of, uh, of the Lung Cancer Ambition Alliance. Uh, I can tell you that uh, when we were starting thinking about the Alliance, we were using uh, as a sort of model what uh, other physicians did in the field of, uh, of breast cancer. So currently in, the, in, the, in breast cancer, uh, you can do neoadjuvant chemotherapy, you can diagnose earlier breast cancer, and you can apply neoadjuvant chemotherapy and you are already able to uh, improve significantly the survival expectations of the patients with breast cancer. That was possible only because several players, several companies with multiple scientific organizations came together to the same table and decided to join all the, the uh, expertise uh, to move the field uh, in, a, in a collaborative initiative. Uh, that kind of model was uh, the role model or the model that we were using to envision this alliance at the beginning. And we believe that we can reach exactly or almost the same results also in the field of lung cancer. So you mentioned there about collaboration. Why is collaboration so important for, um, in this instance, for the Lung Ambition Alliance to accomplish its goals? 
in my personal view, the collaboration is uh, critical because you are bringing to the same uh, uh, place different level of expertise. Obviously, as a scientific organization, uh, being the reference society in the field of thoracic oncology, we are trying to educate physicians in, in the field. We are trying to foster collaboration by definition. We are trying to move forward science. But obviously by ourselves, we cannot have the expertise. We cannot reach everyone. And obviously having different players, including the Global Lung Cancer Coalition, that is uh, pretty spread out in the community, bringing on board a company that is focused on science like AstraZeneca, but that we are not limiting to any other potential partners in the near future, and bringing also the expertise of a specific company that is dealing with molecular diagnostics that is critical in these days. So we believe that we are able to approach in a systemic way the problem of improving the survival expectation of our patients. And only through a collaborative approach, we believe we will be able to get better results. Mm -hmm.